I was three years old when Metal Slug first came out. My mom walked me home from the YMCA daycare, and every now and then we'd sit on bleached plastic stools outside the grocery store and play Metal Slug on the arcade cabinet. Of course, we never made it very far, as me and my mom were not gamers. Point is, it's a game I remember very fondly. More than 25 years later, Tenshi Studios finally comes out with officially licensed 112 scale action figures of the characters from the game. Now while I am making this video to promote these figures, my hope is that if enough people buy these, maybe, just maybe, they'll give us a 112 scale version of the Super Machine. Also, this video is not sponsored, but if you want to get these figures, you can do so at 5k toys. 5k toys, if you do want to sponsor me, call me. Marco! The packaging for these boxes emulates the character selection screen, which I feel is a wonderful fun detail that fans of the game can really appreciate. And what's also nice is that it does that collector friendly thing with the magnetic sides that lets you open the box and look inside. And right out of the box you can really see the quality of these figures. They've adapted this wonderful look, this this uh, this great blend of cartoony head sculpts and proportions mixed in with some really fantastic fabric work for their cloth outfits. But before we get into the figures, I want to go over their accessories because they come with a lot of neat stuff. They both come with a pair of fists and a pair of hands for holding accessories. This set of hands is for wielding the guns, and you get a thumbs up hand. Both of them come with a pistol. The mag is removable, and the iconic HEAVY MACHINE GUN! Now I can already hear the gun nerds in the comments going, that's not a machine gun. I know, but it is. Both of them get a walkie talkie, a canteen, and a knife. And while both of them come with stick grenades, Marco only gets one, while Tarma gets four. Both of our boys here have a backpack, but in slightly different colors, and lastly, both of them come with an elf and a head, both sporting a shit-eating grin. And the similarities end there. We get an effect piece for the HEAVY MACHINE GUN! We get a rocket. We get a power-up box with a magnetic H on it. The H stands for HEAVY MACHINE GUN! There's a metal. There's a literal piece of shit. You get a mag. You get an ammo belt. A baggie with some large bullets in it. These are metal. And a plastic cardboard box for you to throw all the aforementioned accessories in to recreate the ammo box power up. Tarma has a red power up box with an F on it, so his heavy machine gun can get a flame shot. Tarma gets a different looking rocket, a watermelon, a coin, and an old cigarette box. Tarma comes with two large artillery shells that you can use with the aforementioned grenades to recreate the grenade ammo box power up. And lastly, you get three pairs of sunglasses. Be very careful with these, I already broke two of them. Now on to the rebel soldiers. The only accessories these soldiers share are their hands and their helmets. We have his helmet, he's got a backpack, in terms of firearms, he has a bolt-action rifle and a handgun. The mag is removable. He has a machete and a knife. He comes with a grenade and a spiked riot shield. Like the other soldier, we start with his helmet. This soldier comes armed with a Gatling gun and an ammo belt that connects it to a backpack. And the only other accessory is this rocket launcher. The rocket is removable. All four figures come standard with this display stand and a plastic tab you can use to link them together. There's a solid cloth to hold your figures in place, and the post is a reinforced aluminum wire. And that'll do it for accessories. In terms of articulation, all four share the same base body, so you can expect similar articulation across the board. The head and neck are on a dumbbell joint, shoulders are on a ball hinge, rotations at the bicep, double hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, great ab crunch, both backwards and forwards, the pants are the greatest limiting factor for the lower body articulation. 
as the range of motion will depend mostly on where and how the fabric is sitting on the figure. But if you play around with it, you can really get some dynamic poses out of them. The ankles and boots are a two-piece plastic mold that utilize a ball socket. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons. Here's Marco Nexus and Figma. Here's Tarma Nexus and Bandai and SH Figure Arts figures. Here's a Rebel Soldier Nexus and Bean Jello Pop Toys. And here's the other Rebel Soldier Nexus and various one to scale figures. Metal Slug figures are rare and almost non-existent. So to a fan of the franchise, these figures are a godsend. There's so much detail packed into each figure, in both the sculpt and the sheer amount of accessories. And not only that, the build quality is solid, the joint tolerances are smooth. All this for a more than reasonable price point. Compare that to the price and value of a Figma these days, and it's a fucking steal. Like Figma Yiha Musashi here is the latest Figma I bought, and this is literally all you get. For this price point. I'm very happy with these figures, and I'm glad to see Tunchi Studios is releasing the rest of the Metal Slug game. Fingers crossed for Super Vehicle 001. You can buy and order all of these at 5ktoys.com. Link in the description below. Till next time, bye bye. Heavy machine gun!